my editors. Uh, go ahead and start. We're good. Here we go. Toss of one. This ruler ascended to the throne as a result of the loyalty treaty of Nakia Sakutu, by which the royal court was commanded to accept him as the favored grandson of Queen Sakuta and never revolt against his kingship. One relief shows this king forcing a defeated rival of his to live in a dog kennel with a chain stuck through his jaw, and he is alleged to have sown salt in the land by defeating the Elamites. He was revolted against by Samtek I, resulting in the loss of Egypt under his rule. Famous for establishing a library of over 30,000 plate tablets in Nineveh, he was the son and successor of King Asarkadon, which makes him the grandson of Snow oh, uh, That's four over here, Ashurbanipal. That's correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Ten points. <laughs> for bonus, Jacob Mincer showed that restricting investment in this quantity to years of schooling fails to explain the earnings of individuals with more than a decade of continuous work experience for ten points each. Mincer created an earnings function in the human form of this quantity, which has been written about by Gary Becker. And is defined as a pool of knowledge and skills to use to perform labor. Richard Von Heifer, the 1941 book on the pure theory of this. It's a capital or human capital account. Yeah. Uh, this economist's work suggests that observable values such as years of education is more of a signal for the ability of a worker rather than the utility of the education in the production process. That work in labor market signaling one can be Nobel Prize with Akerlof and Stiglitz in 2001. Sense. Yes, this UC Berkeley economist identified big labor markets and ecosystem of intermediate service providers and human capital spillovers as the three main reasons for the emergence of innovation clusters in his book, The New Geography of Jobs. Answer? Moretti. Yes. Five. Three points. Toss of two. Given a canonical transformation of phi, which takes a vector field to equilibrium and is generated by a function f, there exists another function that differs from f only by a function of the time and also generates phi and satisfies this equation according to a theorem bearing this equation's name. Singularities in the solutions of this equation correspond to the points on the Lagrangian manifold where the projection to the coordinate space is not a local diffeomorphism called caustic points. When this equation describes a system with n degrees of freedom, a complete integral of this equation will have n plus 1 parameters and will provide a solution to the equations of motions for positions and momenta. For 10 points, identify this equation, which sets an operator representing total energy plus the time derivative of the action equal to zero, a fundamental equation of mechanics. Hamilton Jacoby? That's right. Your <laughs> bonus. Though this god was ritually dismembered in the underworld, he nonetheless inaugurated spring by riding back to Earth on a white horse for 10 points each. Identify the Slavic fertility god, who in an uncanny symbol, uncannily similar story to the myth of Persephone, is stolen from his father by Bellus and taken to the underworld. Dodgepod. No, it's Dorilo. Uh, Eurelo's father was this Slavic, chief Slavic god, who caused thunder and lightning and tossed his hammer at wrongdoers. Harun? Yes. After the Slavs were Christianized, Eurelo was identified with his patron saint of England, who killed a dragon. George. George. 20 points. Toss of three. This deity fathered seven demons who periodically emerged from the underworld to retrieve the blood, liver, and other organs of sacrificial animals. This god once summoned a fisherman who had broken the wings of the winged god and was so impressed by that man's sincerity that he offered him the food and drink of immortality, which were both refused. This god controlled a set of powerful shooting stars known as Kishrus. Atrophasis was home to the throne of this god, which was guarded by Nimgish Zidda. This god's estate was once cut off, cut off when his son bit off his genitals, causing that son to become pregnant with three gods. He then teamed up with one of his grandsons, Teshu, to defeat that son, Kumarbi. Upset by Gilgamesh's rejection, Ishtar once convinced this god to send a bull to wreak havoc on Earth. Often depicted with a royal tiara, this god split patronage of a roof with Inanna and ruled the heavens. For ten points, named this Sumerian god who formed a triad with Ea and Enki. Anu? Your bonus. Notice, uh, oh, sorry. The basic idea behind this technique is to pick a scale cutoff and derive a relationship between the coupling constants and the cutoff so that the coupling constants in front of the problematic terms go to zero as the cutoff increases. Then we teach identify this technique formalized by Kenneth Wilson, which is used to eliminate infinities in physical theories. Yes, the most famous use of the renormalization group is probably Feynman, Tanaga, and Schwinger's work on the quantum theory of this fundamental field, whose force is mediated by the photon. Yes, uh, renormalization theory can be used to show that this quantity becomes infinite at critical points. This quantity can be viewed as a scale on which order exists in the physical system. That's right, very nice.
Um, toss up four. This character is forced to learn how to whistle to attract bullfinches that live in the bedroom of an eccentric blind woman who requests that fowls named Athena and Strut are brought to her chambers for daily inspections. In a famous scene, this character stumbles on a flock of injured pheasants and breaks all their chests. That's right. Your bonus. Answer the fossil about Neolithic Europe and the Proto-Indo-Europeans for some point each. Probably built by the Groove the Ware peoples, this Neolithic village by the sea was unearthed by William Watt on the Orkney Islands of Scotland. This settlement is near the ring of Brockbar, the Shoe, and the Standing Stones of Stennis. Is that Scarborough? I think that was on the name. Scarborough. Yeah. Uh, this hy hypothesis formulated by Maria Gimbutas posits that the namesake broadly defined culture consisting of Yama, or the Pigrate peoples of the Pontic Steppe and their predecessors, were the pro Indo European speaking culture. This Turkish term also refers to those great mounds often encountered in Central Asia. Yes. 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 Uh, this site excavated by Arthur Evans is best known as the center of the Noah culture, and its deeper Neolithic tracks there by G.G. Evans has also yielded an alternative solution model for the Indo European economies. That is what you're answering. Cost of five. Negotiation of this treaty was aided by the interpreter Arthur Ferguson, who dealt with several translation issues. A paper in the Anglo-Saxon Review on the consequence of this treaty was written by Whitebar Reed, who was part of the American delegation, along with Cushing Davis and George Gray. That five-man commission was led by Judge William R. Day, who had resigned from his post as Secretary of State to attempt to negotiate this peace. Two years after this treaty was clarified by the Treaty of Washington, sometimes called the Session Treaty, which dealt with the islands of Sukhutu and Pakayan. The main provisions of this treaty stated that the U.S. would pay $20 million within the three months of ratification. That payment occurred after Queen Regent Christina cabled her acceptance of this treaty, reportedly causing George Frisby IV to have an attack, a heart attack, in March of 1899. Protect once this treaty exceeded Guam order. It's just the Treaty of Paris of 1898. <laughs> Your bonus. Finish these quotes from Lady Vermeer Span. Lord Darlington quips that it is absurd to divide people to good and bad, and suggests to extend by the people between these two traits. Interesting and boring. Charming and tedious. In the third act, Cecil Grant claims, I only talk gossip and never talks about this word, which he defines as gossip made tedious by morality. Scandal. Wilde defines this type of person as a man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing, as opposed to the sentimentalist who sees an absurd value in everything and doesn't know the market price of any single thing. Realist. That's a cynic. You can go on points. Toss of six. This work borrowed the rigid vertical row of angels in Ferdinand Hodler's The Chosen as a model for the perpendicular arrangement of the choir of angels in its last section, which illustrates Schiller's line of poetry, this is for the entire world. Floating female genes. Wait, this is on the beautiful freeze. Of course, we're not open it. This composer ended one of his songs by saying, Fathers, let this be a warning to you. Lock up your sugar candies, lock up your young girls. For example, in Egypt, we need this classical composer who composed 30 or so secular songs in Italian and German, such as Evening Reflections and To Chloe, as well as the sacred flow music like his Requiem, which was finished by Sussmeyer. No, in this song, based on the Goethe poem, Mozart used a chromatically falling line to represent a maiden trampling a young man's book of love, followed by a modulation to G minor and a protocol and get the sweetest little flowers. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Mozart's song, Mozart di Gioia, was intended to replace the aria Des Dieni Non Tradar, which is commonly sung by this character from the marriage of Figaro, introducing her jealousy for the group of Figaro. Uh, that's their Toss of seven. Wilhelm Rue studied this process by poking a cell with a hot needle, and later Theodore Bovary theorized the existence of a priority region by observing a shift in curvature during this process in sea urchins. At the beginning of this process, Sarah Juan and Lefty Juan work in contest in concert to antagonize the nodal signal in the pathway. Snail is upregulated, downregulating e here in the epithelial to mesenchymal transition that takes place during this process. In a book about calciferous sponges, Ernst Haeckel coined this term. The great crest region in Xenopus is crucial for beta catenin's role in initiating this process, which in a drosophila involves the formation of a ventral furrow. There Gastrulation? Your bonus. The 
the metacentric and submetacentric type of these entities are only present in grasshoppers living in warm, dry environments, which have to each mainly typically non voting naturally occurring entities that sometimes exist alongside the normal karyotype. Inactivated chromosomes? No, these are called B chromosomes. Uh, B chromosomes might have appeared due to the general kinds of gene transfer systems, uh, gene transfer events between members of the same generation, not from parent to child. Transformation, transduction, and conjugation are types of this process. Horizontal gene transfer. Yes. A 2000 study showed that the presence of supernumerary chromosomes did not affect this measure, which describes the ability of an individual with a genotype or genotype to survive and reproduce. Fitness. Fitness. 20 points. Toss of eight. A four-volume work about the sources of this concept was written by British sociologist Michael Mann. A radical view of this concept titled a 1974 book by Stephen Lukes, who claimed that it had three-dimensional power. That's right. Yeah. Here's your bonus. This character's left arm is lopped off by a magic sword, and he receives his nickname by donning the disguise of a Buddhist monk after he leaves a bloody note acknowledging the slaughter of Inspector Gang for 10 points each. Name this powerful man who kills his brother's murderer, Padmian Lin, in the novel The Golden Lotus. In another novel, he becomes excessively drunk and punches a tiger to death. What? Blue? What'd you say? Blue? No. It is Wu Wong, Wu Song, or Phil Wu Song is one of the 188 bandits from this classic Chinese novel. Uh, yeah. uh, this mountain, which also appears in the Yuan Dynasty, plays Black Hurricane and presents twin victories. In the Yuan Dynasty play, Black Hurricane and presents twin victories, is home to the stronghold of the 188 bandits in the water market. Noah. 
Four Wyland Biblica scenes, including the Brazen Serpent and Judith and Holofernes, were painted in these architectural sections of the chapel. This architectural feature is a triangular segment of vaulting that provides transition between the dome and a square base. Sounds great. And dentists? Yes. Michelangelo framed the five small and narrative paintings on the ceilings of the Sistine Chapel with all of these mysterious naked male figures. These figures sit in painted architectural plinths. We got gargoyles. These are called the Yuri. Um, you got 20 points on the bones. <laughs> okay, and we have high the score of Yale with 180 and right. Chicago with 150. That's right, right, right. yeah. yeah. The 
usage of this four-word phrase dates back to a 1990 paper authored in part by Christoph Koch, who later defined these concepts as the minimal set of neuronal events and mechanisms jointly sufficient for a mental state, for example, to each. Identify this concept denoting the correspondence between biological and mental states. Koch's paper suggested that these concepts can be located by generating coherent 40 hertz oscillations in the brain. Constituents of mental action. These are the neural correlates of consciousness. This man co authored that 1990 paper titled Toward a Neurobiological Theory of Consciousness with Koch. You might know him better for his extra philosophical work on the structure of DNA with James Watson. Crick. This philosopher argued for access and phenomenal correlates to match the corresponding type of consciousness. His paper of psychologism and behaviorism argues that a machine program to pass the Turing test by giving every possible response would still not be intelligent. Block, that's 20 points. Nice, nice. Toss of 14. One character in this novel has an epiphany when he finds the bibliography of bibliographies that shows him all libraries are arranged in an organized taxonomy. One character in this novel refuses to have a child with her friend Walter because she does not want to pass on his mediocrity and becomes obsessed with the musicality of a murderer in prison for killing a prostitute. Man without politics. Your bonus. Name these proposed constitutional amendments which try to avoid war for templates each. This compromise issued by a Kentucky senator was the last ditch ever to avoid the Civil War and would have included six amendments which guaranteed the continuance of slavery south of the 3630 parallel. Right. Yes, named for an Ohio Republican, this failed amendment in 1861 was numbered as the 13th Amendment, but was introduced after seven states had already seceded and was ignored. It would have forbid Congress making any amendment to the Constitution to interfere with the domestic institutions of any state, holding that any laws about persons held to labor, uh, hold, including any laws about persons held to labor in those states. So, sorry, is this a congressman or a senator? Did they say? I, think it's I said Ohio. Yes, yes I know, so it's Wade. Wade. Yeah. Yeah. Wade is, but Wade. This is the Corbin Amendment. Oh, uh, yeah. Name for an isolationist Democrat from Indiana. This amendment introduced in 1935 would have required a national referendum on any declaration of war by Congress, except for U.S. territory had been invaded or U.S. citizens attacked first. That was the Ripper Amendment. Yes, Ripper. Love, love. Uh, Ten points. Uh, Toss of 15. In one story, this figure, this figure bids his men to put a glass plate over the nest of the moorhen to obtain a cutting tool given to the moorhen by the angel of the sea. In another tale, he drips honey into a bowl late at night to prove that the two men at his court are really women. In the Quran, Asaf offers to bring him to bring him a throne before he can look up to heaven and look down again. That throne is meant for Bilgis, whose land was foretold to this man by the lapwing. The water falling of this man's glass palace causes Bilgis to lift up her dress, showing him her hairy legs. This speaker evokes 72 demons and puts them in brass pots in the Ars Goetia, parts of a 17th century grimoire named for the lesser key of this man. His son Rehoboam was entrusted to hide his greater key in his tomb. For 10 points, named this husband of the Pharaoh's daughter, who built the first temple of Jerusalem and proposed splitting a baby in two. Secret meeting at Wollersdorf. 
He ascended the throne by negotiating a secret agreement called the Onyati Treaty, which he, by which he surrendered Alsace and many Italian territories, <coughs> including Piombino, to Philip III of Spain. That treaty allowed the Styria line of Habsburgs, led by this ruler, to take the throne after the death of Emperor Matthias. One of his most famous acts was issuing the Edict of Restitution, which temporarily. Uh, oh, that's one of the. Your bonus. This formalism divides the Earth into radially symmetric shells separated by discontinuities at 400, 670, 2890, and 5150 kilometers, 10 points each. Identify this model based on the Adams Williamson equation, which gives the velocity of seismic waves as a function of depth. It was created by Zinowski and Anderson. What do you have? So this is called the PRAM, or the Preliminary Reference Earth Model. This region above the core magnet boundary at 2890 kilometers is home to the reduced and sometimes negative velocity gradients. Oh, okay. and it's a D-double prime? Yes. Uh, the discovery of another region of low velocity directly beneath the lithosphere strengthened the evidence for the existence of this weak, partially fluid region. So that the, the, the below the lithosphere is the stenosphere? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Toss-up 17. <clears throat> in the third movement one of this composer's symphonies, a funeral march consisting of violins playing a jagged dotted rhythm struggles against another funeral march played by winds. In another of his symphonic third movements, a gavotte transitions into a trio, which transitions back to the gavotte in the flute, while strings play the staccato accompaniment. He quadrupled the length of the first movement development section, the near revision of his fourth symphony, whose third movement depicts a seductive dance performed by the beautiful maiden. The glockenspiels and xylophones imitate, imitate ticking clocks in his last symphony, to which he added an energetic coda in the vain hope of winning a prize. That piece was originally composed for a children's radio program. This composer's fourth symphony drew heavily from his ballet, The Prodigal Son. His chosen title... Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this singer appeared in the premiere of the opera D, but didn't achieve widespread success until the 1930 release of The Big Pond, in which he sang Living in the Sunlight, Loving in the Moonlight, for Temple Teach. Name this boater hat and tuxedo wearing Frenchman, best known for starring in films like The Love Parade and for singing songs like You Brought Me Kind of Love to Me and Thank Heaven for Little Girls. Chevalier had a long and stormy relationship with this French flower seller turned singer who scored a hit with Marmont in 1916. At the time, she was the highest paid female entertainer in the world. Wow, who is that? No, it's Miss Dinguette or the Jean Florentine Bourgeois. Oh, well. Uh, Chevalier played a tailor opposite Jean Jeanette MacDonald in Love Me Tonight, which featured music by this composer and lyrics by Lorenz Hart. He wrote another lyricist on Carousel of the South Pacific. Rogers and Yellow. Yes. That was not a factual note. That's an emotional point. Okay, we need one more remaining three, so that's enough for us. Toss up 18. In 1983, the IRIS satellite provided evidence for the existence of these objects when it showed that about one-fifth of the main sequence A stars near the sun exhibited excess emissions in the infrared. The evolutionary dynamics of these objects were worked out, work out by Sobranov, who proposed that structures develop and renew these objects by agglomerating significantly smaller bodies that are not fragmented during collisions, a theory worked out in further detail by Lissauer. The Perry Cameron model is a theory of structure formation in these objects that builds on an earlier theory of Cameron, which proposes that structure formation in them proceeds via breakup of these objects into axisymmetric rings due to gravitational instability, contrary to the aforementioned core accretion hypothesis. These objects have a lifespan of about 10 million years, after which their mass, which at this point is mostly gas, has either coalesced into structures or been destroyed by photo evaporation driven by the stars they surround. Mm -hmm. For 10 points, identify these objects in a cloud of dust gravitationally bound to a star, which serves as the location for formation of objects like Earth and Jupiter. Planetary disk. Yeah, yeah. No, that's incorrect. It's a protoplanetary disk. Planetary disk. Planetary disk. Planetary disk. No, I was going to say planetary disk. Still need to like it. Okay. Okay. Get one of the main objects. Up 45. Sorry. Up 45. We'd be quiet out here. Okay. Cost 19. 
A historically distinctive feature of this work's philosophy is its claim that while we do not have to make conceptions of things as such as musical tones, we do possess the conceptions of goodness. In a section on sophistical arguments, this work suggests that an inference from premises should be admit admitted only if the premises at the end of the arguments are the same as those that were initially granted. This work provides a tripartite definition of being good, which includes mastery of desires and aversions, movement toward and away from things, and freedom from deception and rashness. This work, whose third book contains an argument between an Epicurean and the man whose, whose thought is contained in it, consists chiefly of prescriptions for the good life, and begins with a description of the things which are in our power and not in our power. Which one do we want? Discourses? Yes! <laughs> Your bonus! Answer the following about the most compelling of subjects, ancient Roman, Roman coinage. Originally, this was a small silver coin introduced in 211 BC, valued at one quarter of a denarius, which was only minted for special occasions during the Roman Republic. Later on, Augustus made it the standard large bronze coin, equal to four bronze asses. Yes. In response to continuing debates of currency, this emperor issued the edict on maximum prices, but he may be better remembered for setting up the Tetrarchy by appointing Valerius and Constantius as co-emperor. Diocletian. During the Republic, the two curial types of these officials had power to issue edicts to regulate coinage and public markets. The other two of these officials who started public order were required to be and to maintain public order. Ideals. Yep. Nice. Right. Nice. Never mind my five. Yeah. Uh, five point games. Awesome. This author wrote a short, off-quoted article that offers the literary prescriptions do not retell the medial perverse but what's already been done in good prose and going fear of abstractions in a list of don'ts for those beginning to write verses. This poet claimed any general statement is like a check drawn on a bank. Its value depends on what there is there to meet it. In the second chapter of a book that defines great literature as language charged with meaning to the utmost possible degree, and notably defined literature as news that stays news. This author of the ABC of Reading, that's a pound. That is? No! no. no. She can read! The bonus! Uh, this book was reportedly discovered by the Arcadian minister Charles Goodrich in Panama for 10 points each, named this Black Man's Bible, which was written by the Andrea Holden Robert Athlete of the New Rogers, and has become the foundational text for Rastafari's. Uh, Yes, uh, the prophecies of the Holy Pity were allegedly confirmed when this man was crowned in Ethiopia in 1930, taking a meaning from the mind of the Trinity. Haile <laughs> Selassie. Yes, this man called the first Rasta in the Gong was a Jamaican born preacher who founded the Pinto Khan to spread his Rasta teachings. While he was jailed for doing that, he used his pen named Gigi Marat to write the prophecy, which has become a great book and the holy book in the Rasta. Is his name Powell? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Powell. It's Powell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are 20 points in the bonus. That's game.